Hello and welcome back. Today we have the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Zord Ascension Project Astro Megazord from Power Rangers in Space. Um, this now completes the trio of Zap Swords. Um, I'm really eager to take a look at this. While In Space was never one of my favourite series, I am a really uh, I really, really enjoyed Mega Ranger, which was obviously the basis for In Space. Um, so having something which essentially represents that is pretty cool. Uh, so let's get right into it. Looking at the packaging, we have a slipcase, much like we saw with the Dragon Zord and the Mega Zord before that. Um, you have the slipcase has a black and yellow. Sort of detailing of the sword head while the underside has an embossed embossed um, logo uh, design of the head if we bring this around you can see a product shot of the astro megazord the back has a product shot and contents details and then the other side has some more, has artwork of the Astro Megazord, which is some really nicely done artwork. Um, this one kind of reminds me of a Transformer a bit, especially the face uh, mouth guard here uh, and the way the shadowing has been done on it at all. It does kind of look a bit like a Transformer, but this is still cool nonetheless. We get the box cut open and uh, slip case off, and we'll look at the rest of the packaging. And here we have the packaging without the slipcase. So you can see the full head of the Megazord. We continue to see the same details on the side. There's a blue background with oddly a Zoo Ranger logo um, for the Zap Sword. I assume that at this point Hasbro are just using the Zoo Render Z as a standard logo for the Zapper Zords. At the top of this does have a QR code. I haven't looked, but I assume the QR code takes you to a identical version of the Dragon Zord QR code just for the Astro Megazord. Um, so that's really it for the packaging. Let's get this opened up and look at the Zord itself. So one thing I want to mention before we continue is alone this box is a lot lot heavier than the dragon zord was um, which is hopefully a good sign there is some real weight to this where the dragon zord as i said in the review was really lightweight it felt really hollow um and you know plasticky um but yeah that was a sidetrack uh, back to this uh once you've taken the lid off you've got the inlay which is a sort of computer terminal for the mega zord which is really nicely done. Uh, it's reminiscent of both In Space and uh, Mega Ranger and what they were doing with their sort of computery. Well, that sounded really pathetic, <laughs> but yeah, you see what I mean. Uh, let's take the slipcase off and let's look at the rest of this. And um, with the slipcase or oh, oh, inlay off, you can see here uh, how it's been packaged. As soon as you take it off, there's a waft of that new plasticky smell. Um, which I quite like, uh, it's almost like a new car smell. <laughs> uh, down the side here you can see we have our instruction manual. This is the Zord itself and it looks like it's in spaceship mode. And as you can see in here there are the rest of the accessories. So I'm going to take these out, um, unpackage the Zord, we'll have a look at it, we'll see how it transforms and I'll give my final thoughts on it. And here is everything straight out of the packaging. Uh, you can see we get a bunch of hands uh, which have some nice solid weight and they feel like a real thick uh, PVC type plastic. Some open hands. Uh, we get the sword uh, which has a real weight to it. It doesn't feel hollow, it feels solid. Um, already before even getting to the sword I can say this is a much uh, this is a marked improvement over the Dragon Sword alone. Um, you have the little space shuttle which 
converts into the Megazord head. Uh, you get this piece and these. Uh, I can't remember what that's for, um, but I'm sure the instructions will show us. And we get little rubber or little plastic range of figures. Um, as you can see, a number of mine have come out of the packaging bent, which is a little disappointing, but as they are small little pieces of rubber figures, you can just bend them back into shape. Uh, you get the five all in this same pose, which uh, is almost a downgrade from the Megazord, uh, which had the Rangers in their individual poses. I suppose with this, it is them all summoning the Rangers, uh, the Megazord even, so it uh, makes sense they're in the same pose. I assume it's also a cost-cutting thing for Hasbro having, you know, the same moulds. Uh, obviously cuts down on cost, but given that these are just going to go in storage anyway, it doesn't really matter. These are, personally for me, these have no uh, intrinsic value to the product. Um, they just go into storage. I think it's a nice idea. Uh, it's it's nice that they included them. Um, it's a nice touch. But equally, it's not something, you know, that if Hasbro removed from future releases, that would bother me. Okay, let's get the stuff moved out of the way. Let's take a look at the Zord itself. So here's our Zord. As you can see here, it is pretty big. Um, there is some real weight to this. Um, in fact, comparatively, actually, this is definitely the heaviest of the three. There is a real weight to this, um, which is nice to see. This is, uh, this feels heftier. It feels more solid than actually both of those swords combined. It feels, there is a real weight to this. It really feels like, um, the price point it's asking for, um, I think the price point was nearly was what 150 180 when it came out i picked this up for 100 um but yeah i think i've seen this going at retail price for around 180 so uh it's more than what the dragon sword and the mega sword were um it's definitely worth you can definitely feel that weight in there um there's the vacized plastic on these which um as i said in the dragon's order review i have concerns about chipping over time uh the gun turrets move which is nice so does the wings uh some nice detailing uh molding in this uh, some nice paint taps throughout to bring these bits out if i'm right this should open to give us a look at the cockpit inside uh, i don't know how well you're going to be able to see it on this but the m opens and inside you can see all five rangers sat ready for takeoff uh, the front of this will open up so that we can eventually put the shuttlecraft in it open up take a look at the instructions make sure I'm not doing something stupid mm. so you should just hinge open oh yeah you can see they're on a real tight rattage joint uh, and then the space shuttle will fit in. Um, before I do that, I just want to show that actually you can see the ranges in here as well, which is a nice touch. And this will then slide in. This 
should just shut. Oh. down that's why uh, we have it with the space shuttle docked uh, these bits will clip on the sides Oops. Uh, so from what I understand from the instructions the right bit is actually a gun turret of sorts there we go and in theory this should just plug underneath Yeah, so you can see if there's a small hole at the back here, this just plugs underneath like so. Or you can bring it back further if you wanted. So further, further back. And that's all of that. So that's the space Astro Megazord space shuttle mode. Um, I don't think I really have anything else to add at this point. Um, I'm really liking this. I like the uh, I'm liking the chrome. Uh, look on it although I do have concerns over time periods of this you know eventually chipping and dulling which would be a shame because at the moment this looks amazing uh, underneath you can see it has some wheels for rolling uh, has more detailing uh, you've got space for the shield overall this has been really really well done so I'm now going to look at transformation see how that works um, and we'll look at the Zord itself
Okay. So, as you can see, much like the Dragon Zord, the arms are on a, oh, sorry, the hands are just on a ball joint. And you can swift them out for the eye of the open fisted. Just we close fisted. So I uh, the oh these are tight, you might want to blow dry them beforehand. Oh, for purposes of review, I'm gonna use close fisted ones. And in theory the gun should just slide in. Pause this while I take a look at the gun. Right, and there we have the Megazord set up. Um, the hands are incredibly tight. Um, you probably will want a hairdryer or something to loosen them up before you try and get the, uh, the weapons into place. Um, as I said, it was really, really tight fitting, uh, which is probably a good thing. However, that said, uh, the way the gun rests it always ends up at a bit of an angle rather than straight on, which is a bit of a disappointment. Um, but I don't think there's anything that could be done about that. Um, as you can see, there is a joint at the swivel at the waist and a bit of an ab crunch. So you can have them leaning forward. There's swivel at the head, but there's no Oh, there's a bit of a ball joint. Not much one, though. Uh, arms uh, mostly come out and move about due to transformation, but there is a ratchet joint for the arms to swivel on. You can see that the uh, elbows rotate, and as will the hands themselves. Uh, the legs move and bend at the knees and at the legs, but this is all from uh, from the transformation rather than anything else. Sadly, there's no ratchets at the feet, so the best way you can get them posed like that. I would have preferred something like the Transformers, which have the ratchet there to allow the foot to drop and rest solidly. Um, and it's a bit of a disappointment they couldn't do that, given we've seen that the larger scale Transformers, uh, which are at similar price points to this, um, being much, much bigger than this, having much more intricate transformations than this, have also still had the foot ratchet. Um, so it's a disappointment that we haven't seen that. Um, on this, but it is what it is and it doesn't uh, detract overly from the design of the Megazord. Uh, the guns continue to swivel down there. The shield just clips and rests on one of the wheels. It's a very loose fit. In fact, it's probably the only loose fitting thing on the, th on the ship. Um, that's obviously due to the movement of the wheel. While having that on the side of the arm is a really nice feature and I like it. I don't like how loose that ends up feeling. I wish there was some other way to have clipped it on. Perhaps expanding this clip here so it's sort of just slotted into joints here. That would have been maybe a better choice. I don't know. Um, but overall, let's bring this in against the other two on the line. So we have our Dragon Zord and our Megazord. Um, so what are my thoughts on this? I love this one. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, as you can see, it towers over the other two and it definitely earns its increased price point against the other two. Um, Transformation wise, it's probably as intricate as the Dragon Zord, um, but that's obviously down to the 
show than the series itself. Um, this definitely has a lot more range and movement than the Dragon Zord does. Um, it feels nowhere near as hollow. It is a really solid piece. Um, I continue to love that Megazord. I love some of the uh, design details or des design choices they made. Um, as I've mentioned before, um, range of movement on this is very similar to this, except you know we've got things like the swiveling heads down here, um, which allowed for better art, uh, posability. So yeah, again, uh, coming, it, uh, there is a big disappointment for me that we don't have, you know, ratchets here to allow the feet to drop. Um, it is a disappointment for me. As I said, it probably doesn't really take away from it, but it's something that would have been nice to have been seen. Um, I love that we get a bunch of different hand features. We have the sword, we have the gun, we have the shield. Um, the detailing on this is great. I really don't know what else people could have asked for at this price point. Um, uh, I don't think I really have anything else I want to add on this review, um, except that uh, in some ways this probably is my preferred one of the three, just because of its size, its detailing, etc. But that said, I think the original Megazord does hold a special place for me. I still absolutely love the design choices on that. Um, but having seen that against this, you know, I, I kind of wish this was bigger now. But other than that, um, yeah, I, I like all three of the Zap Zords. Uh, Dragon Zord, sadly, is my least favourite, just down to its hollow nature. Um and limited posability which comes down probably mostly to the design of the creature rather than the Hasbro itself um, but there we have all three Zapzords overall if you have the chance to pick any of them up I would highly recommend it um, I don't think you would necessarily be disappointed but you know your mileage may vary so thank you for watching and I'll be back with more videos later. Goodbye.